there is any other region that feels they deserve the 2023 presidency, the more it is the southeast region. The Igbos have stayed out of power for many years now, while the north, southwest, and south south have produced a president for Nigeria. The southeast are yet to produce a president for the country since the return to democratic rule in Nigeria. Although they have tried in the past, their efforts ended up in fertility why the people of the southeast have continued to blame others for their current absence in power they have also failed to look back and learn from their past mistakes and forge ahead they have also failed to understand that politics is a game of numbers and that in nigeria the winner is always anyone who can identify with the people of the north more in our today's political discussion we'll be looking at two likely reasons why Umayi might abandon APC after the 2023 election. The governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, made a strategic move in November 2020 by abandoning PDP and joining APC in the outspoken governor Why explaining his reason for dumping the PDP for APC said that he made his decision to protect the interests of the Igbos. Few years back, few years down the line, Governor David Umahi seems to be nursing the desire to lead Nigeria in 2023. Governor Umahi, while speaking to Channel TV during an interview, said that he will feel bad if APC doesn't give the Southeast an opportunity in 2023. These growing feelings of entitlement from Governor David Uma, he got me asking perturbing question. Could the governor be nursing any intention? Why is Umayi feeling entitled? While will he leave the APC if not given a chance in 2023? Hence are the two likely reasons why Umahi might abandon APC after the 2023 election. The first likely reason why Umahi might abandon APC after the 2023 election is if Igbos are not given a chance at the party. The body language of the Ebony state governor clearly shows that he wants to be either a presidential candidate of APC or a vice president in 2023. If Umayi is denied both opportunities, he will definitely abandon APC. The second reason why Umayi might leave APC after the 2023 election is if the party loses to PDP. As it seems, Umayi loves winning and would do anything to be on the winning team. The fact that he could abandon PDP to join APC after APC secured power shows that he would do anything to join the winning team. Hmm. Who am I he? That one is a devil incarnate now. Who doesn't know him? On the basis of what he has done to the 17 Southern governors, there is nothing I won't say about him because he's the kind of person who, who changes his skin at any time. He and Opu Zodima, they are of the same level. If you ask me, that is what I think about the both of them. So he wants to become the president in 2023. Who will vote for him? Because I will definitely not be among the people who are going to vote for that snitch. A person who can snitch up on his own people. Then tell us how he is able to secure our own future in, in the 2023 after he becomes the president of, of Nigeria. So I disagree with, I don't really think him himself is wishing to become the president so he might want a a eastern person or an igbo man rather to become the president in 2023 but i don't think he is talking about himself because he doesn't even have anything or what it takes to become to become the president because we are even if we want an igbo president does not mean we are going to look for a puppet who is going to be dancing to the tools of to the tune of Buhari, no way. That is not the kind of president we want. We want a person who is determined, who is self-righteous, who has the ability to do what is right, not someone who is going to be a puppet, be dancing to what they ask him to do. If they ask him to shake his tail, he will shake. If they ask him to jump, he only asks how high. So that is not the kind of president we want. No, not we not for 
North will not for Easterners, so APC will not want to lose the position. They will do do last minute change to the North, even if given to a Southern person. New Nigerian People's Party is the party for 2023. Hmm. Please be fast and help me to warn Jonathan. Okay, in both parties, there is no chance for Southeast in 2023. Igbo people are too rigid, rigid in their perception of their political beliefs to win the presidency. They can't vote for APC now. They don't even believe in the presidency. Uma, he belongs to Ori Ebe Azora Az Aza group of politicians. He, David Umahi, and his amateurish method, will he join a winning team at all costs? So he was in PDP and it did not matter to him how PDP was winning. Those elections, now he joined APC because the APC is winning. A, politi a political harlot, you can say that again hmm. growing sense of entitlement in what ways has he displayed that if he has such ambition what exactly is wrong with it good morning sir <laughs> okay so many people are saying this and are so against hope <clears throat> so many uh, are so against hope and now they are against umahi so tell me who in igbo clan is going to even vote for David Umahi or Op Uzodima because the both of them are the ones who are dancing to Buhari's tune because of political powers. They both think that Buhari is going to uh, nominate the both of them or choose the both of them for 2023 presidency. That is a lie. A Fulani will always be a Fulani. I remember ago when some commentators were saying that no matter how uh, Op Uzodima and David Umahi tried their best to be at Buhari's service. If they like, let them lick Buhari's feet. That Buhari will never choose any of them for 2023 presidential ticket. So if they like, let them continue backstabbing their brothers all in the name of getting power from Buhari. That Buhari is going to disappoint them woefully. That Buhari will never give power to an Igbo man, no matter how the Igbo man dances to his tune. And this is what is happening exactly. They already said that they are not going to placed APC presidential tickets to any Easterner. So if they like, let them continue backstabbing their people in the name of wanting to go for presidency in 2023. That one is their own cobble. You can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.